Russian government has sanctioned a major reallocation of aviation funding priorities, permitting the diversion of unused budget allocations initially designated for the development of a future wide-body, long-range aircraft. Under a cabinet resolution published on the official legal information portal, these funds will now be allocated to modernize and upgrade two existing aircraft programs, the MC-21-310 medium-range airliner and the TU-214. This decision signifies a pragmatic reevaluation of industrial priorities in response to economic limitations, technological difficulties, and the strategic necessity to enhance domestic aviation capabilities. A total of 2.2 billion rubles has been designated for reducing weight and enhancing the aerodynamic and performance features of the MC-21-310, with the project scheduled for completion by the end of the year, 2027. Simultaneously, 400 million rubles will be allocated to extend the operational lifespan of communication systems on at least four, two, 214 aircraft operated by the Rossiya Special Flight Detachment, with completion estimated by the end of the year, 2028. Together, these measures underscore a transition from long-term, high-risk development initiatives toward targeted investments in aircraft that are either approaching entry into service or are already operational. The MC-21-310 is engineered as a modern medium-range passenger aircraft, crafted to rival current Western narrow-body airplanes. Developed by Yakovlev, a subsidiary of the United Aircraft Corporation, the aircraft was designed as an important development in Russian civil aviation, featuring advanced aerodynamics, modern engines, and extensive use of composite materials. From the beginning, a key characteristic of the MC-21 program was its composite wing, engineered to achieve improved lift-to-drag ratios, reduce structural weight, and lower fuel consumption. In its original design, the aircraft projected a range, payload capacity, and operational efficiency intended to place it firmly within the global standard of narrow-body aviation. Geopolitical developments and the enforcement of sanctions disrupted access to essential foreign technologies, necessitating an immediate transition to domestically manufactured materials and systems. This shift, while strategically essential, resulted in significant technical consequences. During the process of replacing foreign composite materials with domestically produced alternatives, engineers encountered a major obstacle. The new composite structures proved heavier than originally anticipated. The wing and associated structures accumulated additional mass, directly affecting aircraft performance. As a result, the MC-21-310 experienced a reduction in both range and payload capacity. Instead of meeting the performance benchmarks expected of a modern narrow-body aircraft, the current configuration now approaches operational parameters typical of older Soviet-era designs. In practical terms, this means carrying roughly the same number of passengers over similar distances as legacy aircraft, such as the 2154. This outcome has generated criticism within the aviation community. Some specialists argue that under these circumstances, it might have been simpler to design the MC-21 with a conventional metal wing from the outset, accepting a modest performance compromise while avoiding the complexity and expense associated with advanced composite structures. Instead, the aircraft now carries additional structural weight that must be offset by reducing fuel load. This trade-off directly limits operational range and undermines one of the primary advantages originally promoted for the MC-21 program. In theory, the most effective solution would involve a comprehensive redesign of the wing and structural layout. In reality, such an approach is neither economically nor strategically viable. The costs associated with redesign, recertification, and production retooling would be substantial and could delay the program by several years. Abandoning the composite wing concept would also mean relinquishing one of the aircraft's defining technological achievements. 
The MC-21 was conceived as a bridge toward a new generation of Russian civil airliners, demonstrating domestic capability in advanced materials and manufacturing techniques. For these reasons, decision makers and engineers have opted for an incremental improvement strategy. This approach focuses on refining materials, optimizing structures, and reducing weight wherever possible without fundamentally altering the aircraft's architecture. The recently approved allocation of 2.2 billion rubles for MC-21 weight reduction reflects this strategy. Rather than restarting the program, the funding targets specific problem areas through focused engineering solutions. The goal is to recover as much lost performance as possible through improved aerodynamic efficiency, optimized load-bearing structures, and refinements in composite manufacturing processes. Individually, these improvements may appear limited, but together they have the potential to significantly enhance overall operational performance. This decision also reinforces the importance of the MC-21 within Russia's civil aviation plans. Despite its challenges, the aircraft remains central to fleet renewal efforts and to reducing long-term dependence on Western suppliers. A key element of the MC-21's future lies in the adoption of thermoplastic composite materials. According to Anatoly Gaidansky, director of the Yakovlev Engineering Center, the aircraft is ultimately expected to become between 15% and 20% lighter through the use of these materials. Thermoplastic composites offer several advantages over traditional thermoset composites and metal alloys. They are lighter, highly durable, resistant to corrosion, and better suited to automated manufacturing. Unlike thermoset composites, thermoplastics can be reheated and reshaped, simplifying repairs and structural modifications. For the MC-21, these materials provide an opportunity not only to reduce weight, but also to improve fuel efficiency, extend range, and lower life cycle costs. Their successful integration would mark a significant milestone for Russian aircraft manufacturing and bring it closer to international technological standards. Alongside material advancements, engineers are introducing structural refinements across the airframe. Changes to the detachable wing design, wing-to-fuselage fairings, and the tail assembly are being implemented based on accumulated testing and operational experience. According to Gaidansky, these changes alone could remove several hundred kilograms from the aircraft structure. While such reductions may seem modest individually, in aviation, every kilogram saved translates directly into improved performance and lower operating costs. These efforts reflect a broader philosophy of continuous refinement rather than radical redesign. This approach is shaped by financial constraints and the complexities of certification. The MC-21-310 remains in an extensive flight testing phase using fully domestically substituted systems. Multiple prototype aircraft are employed to evaluate stability, controllability, and system performance across a wide range of conditions. These tests are essential not only for certification, but also for identifying further opportunities for optimization. Data gathered during flight trials feeds directly into ongoing refinement efforts, allowing theoretical improvements to be validated in real-world conditions. Although delays have been unavoidable, the testing program demonstrates that development remains active and adaptive. Alongside MC-21 improvements, the government has approved 400 million rubles to extend the service life of communication systems on 2214 aircraft operated by the Rossiya Special Flight Detachment. The TU-214, based on a proven design, continues to play an important role in government and specialized transport operations. Upgrading its communication systems enhances reliability, safety, and mission effectiveness, particularly for state and VIP flights. This investment highlights a dual-track aviation strategy. New aircraft development continues while existing platforms are maintained and upgraded to remain operational during a period of constrained resources.
The reallocation of funds away from an unbuilt wide-body aircraft toward the MC-21 and 2214 reflects a broader emphasis on achievable, near-term results. Rather than pursuing ambitious projects with long timelines and uncertain outcomes, priority is being given to sustaining and improving aircraft already close to service or currently in operation. For the MC-21, success will depend on whether incremental improvements can restore enough performance to justify its role as a next-generation aircraft. For the Tu-214, modernization ensures continued readiness and operational reliability. Together, these efforts illustrate the challenges facing Russian civil aviation. They reflect the need to balance innovation with industrial realities and technological ambition with economic constraint. The government's funding decision represents a, a clear recognition of existing limitations and strategic priorities. The MC-21-310 remains a symbol of Russia's civil aviation ambitions, but its future is defined by evolution rather than reinvention. Through targeted funding, material innovation, and steady design refinement, the program aims to overcome the consequences of import substitution and deliver an aircraft capable of meeting domestic needs. Whether these efforts will fully close the performance gap with international competitors remains uncertain, but they represent a determined attempt to adapt and move forward under challenging conditions. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.